Hey Zara fans! Welcome to Cape Town South. And what do we have here, Zara? Well, we have a Monster High Dracula doll. We have Dracula from Monster High. And what this doll does is it transforms from a ghoul to a bat. So I think you just press a button and her wings will move to change from a ghoul to a bat. I'm really excited to open this up because we've never done anything from Monster High. And also it's Zara's favourite character, isn't it Zara? Yeah. So guys, let's open it up. So guys, we're going to open her up and also we have matching scissors, isn't it Zara? Yeah. Okay, so I think we'll just open her up from the top over here. I'm just going to peel it off, I think, instead of using scissors. Dracula's wings are stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay, guys, so I'll just set this box up now. Well, I think I'm going to cut this part with scissors. So, this is the first time I've reviewed anything from Monster High. And we've wanted to get this doll for quite a long time because it's Zora's favourite character. Who else do you like from Monster High, Zora? I like Deuce. Yeah? Okay, so we just got off that first layer. So now we can actually see her and feel her. I like her hair, isn't it? That's probably the famous thing that I like from uh, her because her hair is really nice. I like the streaks. Okay, guys, so we're just going to snip out all of these little white threads and things and then we'll show you how she looks outside of the box. So as our fans, we've got Dracula out of the box and here she is. So now we're going to show you guys how to change her from a ghoul to a bat. So this is her as a bat. And then when you flip that back up, it's a ghoul. So you just flip this up and down like a switch and then she changes. So her wings open up and down like that. What's really cool about it is you don't really need batteries. Yeah, yeah, it's just a manual thing. So it just go like that. That's really cool, guys. Now let's just look at how some of her reflexes. So you can see that her knees bend like this. You can also make them go just normally forwards like that. Or you can make them also go to the other side as well because they go this side so they can go that side as well that's really cool I like her shoes let's just check if they come off yep they do come off that's another good thing she has a big feet <laughs> so her shoes come off like that um, and I don't think her dress can come off because you have the switch over here yeah. so the dress probably doesn't come off but let's take a closer look at these wings so you can see they have like different hearts on them and I think those are bats in like the black parts of them I think those are just bats um, what I really like about her is the hair the hair feels really soft and you can see the pink streaks inside isn't it yeah, soft? It does. yeah it's nice and soft you've got her bangs over here the streaks too uh, her eyes are like a purple colour, which is nice. And she's got the little heart that she does in the cartoon. I really like her. I think she's really pretty. Yeah. And so this is the dress. So she's got the like lace black part and then the pink and white striped skirt. I really like her. She looks really nice. So just look at her at the back. So the pattern is not on the back. It's just over at the front of the wings, which is really nice. I really like her. Um... What I also really like is that there's the frame over here so that it holds this and it doesn't just flap around everywhere. So when it goes down, there's that black frame which holds the dress from flapping down. So that's really nice. I really like this doll. I think it's really nice to play with. Let's see if she sits. Yeah, she does sit also. But I think if you want her to sit, you probably have to flip that up. Or maybe like... Yeah, that's the difficult part, I think. She can't really sit because of the dress. It's too big. That's the only thing I think I don't really like. Apart from that, I really like her. So I think if you... Yeah, you can't really sit her down. Can you guys see? Because there's those two little frame parts over there that don't let her sit, really. Well, she kind of sits like that, but she doesn't really, like, get her palm on the floor, does she? So she kind of, like, stands like that. But yeah, I really like her. What do you think is the best part about her, Zara? I think it's because, um, I don't know, it's just so cute. I think it's just because of the wings that yeah. makes her really special, isn't it? And unique. Yeah, but the only thing that I don't like is that she can't really sit down properly. That's annoying. So guys, that's Draculaura. It's time to wrap up the video. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, we hope you've enjoyed... Uh, 
the review of this Monster High Dracula or Ghoul to Bat transformation doll. Uh, let us know in the comments down below what your favourite part is of this doll. And don't forget to stay tuned to see more videos like this one. See you soon Zara fans, bye! Bye! So Zara fans, the question for today is what colour was Dracula's eyes? Tell us in the comments down below. Bye Zara fans! Bye!